this is Slow Silver, and today I'm going to show you how to create kits using your Essentials plugin. First place we're going to start is in our plugins folder for our server, and we're going to go into the main Essentials folder for your Essentials.jar, and I have it underlined here in red. All right, and we're going to look for something called config.yml, which is right here at the starting here. All right, now we're going to make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay, and if you've already played with this plugin, you've probably already visited this config file. But uh, for those of you that haven't, if you are not in the correct, uh, there's a lot of essentials folders. Um, if you're not, if you're not seeing this, then you're not in the right config file. So just a heads up. Okay, underneath essentials global, we're gonna go down until we can see our kits here. The selection for kits. All right, now I've I've already created these kits. Um, these are not the default kits. I've already kind of played around with it. Anyway, I'm going to show you how they're set up here. You can name your kit, and then the delay is how often that player can use it. it. It's measured in seconds, so this is 24 hours, and I believe this is 32 or 48. Not sure what I put underneath member, but they'll have to wait that long before using the kit again. The items are set up kind of like the obvious here, but your item ID, the quantity, and then if you want to enchant that specific item, it would be enchant colon level. They're a little, it's a little glitchy. I'm not sure some of it doesn't work. Make sure that the enchantment you're using can be used for that specific item stack. And that if it's two words like uh, fire aspect, even though that enchantment is two words, you're going to need to condense it down to one. Just get rid of the space or it won't be able to read it as well. Okay, now if you want the signs to work, the kit signs to work, you're going to need to go directly underneath in the essential sign control. Underneath the enable signs, go ahead and get rid of the colon, or pff, excuse me, uh, the... Uh, pound sign before kits, which is there. I just put it back, uh, but you'll need to get rid of it so that the config file can read it. Okay, so now we're done here. Let's go ahead and save it. Save a version here and go ahead and delete that. We don't need that up. Let's go ahead, reload the server, and bring up Minecraft again. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and, and create a new sign here so I can show you guys how it's set up. Go ahead and place a sign, and you're going to put kits in brackets. So kit, and then the name of the kit. I'm going to put in my member one here, and then it'll set it up. So now if I was to hit that, I would get whatever that kit I've defined for that kit. All right, cool beans. Now, if you want that, that specific player in that specific group to use it, you're going to need to give them the node essentials.kits.com the name of the kit if you want them to be able to use it. So just a heads up, that permission node will be on somewhere on the screen here so that you guys can copy that as well. Alright, hope this helped and thank you for watching.